vintage lovers i did a little bit of thrifting today and i kind of wanted to show you what i got i also wanted to talk for a minute you know i had some great estate haul videos uh, over the weekend and this video it's, it's not as exciting i know that and so i kind of wanted to show the ups and downs of thrifting and explain why i picked up the items that i did the first thing I got was this tray. This is a very pretty Art Nouveau decorated tray. It is it is made out of wood. I actually did some research and this is not vintage, this is Pier 1. But I picked it up for the graphics. I know that someone will absolutely love this tray. And if they don't, I will use it. But I thought it was just great. It's an excellent shape, um, you know. There's a little bit of scruffing here and there, but it's in good, good shape. Oh, back here, there's a little bit too. I, I might be able to clean that up. But that's the first thing that I got today. I went to four different thrift stores that are close by, and the main reason why I went was because I was challenged by Gina at Vintage Digs. Um, we're having a sale tomorrow, all creatures great and small. We're doing a, a theme sale of all the various animals are in the world and Gina challenged me and Jen to find a chicken. Okay, you should be able to find a chicken in most thrift stores, right? I ended up going to four before I found a chicken. And it's not even a chicken. I mean it is, but it's a rooster. So I don't know if I will be successful in this challenge. I don't know Gina. Does a male chicken count? Um this actually is a really cute mug. It is made in Italy and it's, you know, it's heavy. It's very sturdy. It's not vintage, as you see on the bottom. But I was glad that I found it and I think someone will actually really enjoy this. It's very high quality. And the rooster's cute. Kind of thinking about our animal theme sale tomorrow, I found this and I had to pick this up. Um, this is a Mother's Day plate from 1974, and this is actually Copenhagen porcelain. I picked it up not only because of the animal aspect, but because of the, uh, the Mother's Day coming up, and the fact that this is, is pretty old. 1974 is, is old. I mean, it makes me feel old thinking it's old, but it's old. It is uh, marked here on the back, Copenhagen porcelain. Mother's Day. So that was just perfect for tomorrow. I had to get that. I also picked up this seahorse tray. I do not believe that this is vintage. Um, yeah, it might be melamine, melamine, however you say that. It's, it's definitely like a, a plasticky um, texture. But I thought it was really, really cool. Um, he is in excellent shape. I don't see any flaws with him at all. And I thought I might throw him in the sale because seahorses are animals too. And if not, I actually have kind of a sea life china pattern um, that I got a few years ago. So he'll, he'll fit in with that if, if nobody else finds this seahorse as cute as I do. I also picked up this kitty because kittens are animals. And I know there are a lot of cat collectors in the you know, online YouTube selling community, the reselling community. And I just saw that little face and I thought, well, somebody probably wants that kitty, right? Um, he's resin, he's probably made in China. I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't researched him yet. But I thought he was cute and I picked him up. And I also picked up this butterfly. Um, this is just, it's really pretty and perfect for spring and summer. I have a friend that's a butterfly cl butterfly collector, so I know that she would enjoy this. If, if no one else does, I might throw this in the sale tomorrow, too, because butterflies are animals. Insects are animals, right? Um, it's in great shape. It's clearly modern. Um, it does have a wall hook back here, so... You could hang it and you could do whatever you want with it. I also picked up this old piece of silver plate. 
Um, this is obviously a divided serving dish. And I normally don't pick up anything silver plate, but when I pulled it over um, on the back, I noticed that this was actually a pretty old piece. I'm sorry, that probably made you dizzy right there. Um, this was made in Great Britain, and I saw this um, Hallmark back here, and this is William Adams. I did a little bit of research, and based on that marking and this marking here, I was able to, to date this piece from the late 1890s to the early 1900s. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I can clean this up a little. I know people like tarnished items. Um, it's pretty scratched in here. I might not be able to fix that, but I thought it was worth picking up. Um, it's, it's actually very pretty, even with the scratching. And if no one else wants it, I use these sometimes um, in decorating and displaying items. I just think it's pretty. And I love that it's so old. I also picked up this box. Um, you know, this looks Indian in design to me. It is a hinged box. It's wooden on the inside. I believe that it is metal, but I believe it's probably tin. It's really pretty. Um, I love the flower design. No markings, just wood on the bottom. But who doesn't love another box? Trinket box, whatever you want to do with that box. It's pretty. I also picked up these two pieces. These two textiles, I guess you could call them. Um, the first was this unicorn. I believe this is cross stitch. And I have a couple of other unicorn items that I thought about maybe selling tomorrow. So I saw this and I thought, well, someone might enjoy that. Might do a unicorn lot. I do not know the age of this. So it might be 80s, might be 90s, might be now. I'm not really sure. But I thought it was pretty cool and they did a, a pretty good job. To balance out that, I also got another doily, which see is likely older. Um, I thought that this was just stunning. Purple is my favorite color. If you've been paying attention to my videos, you know that by now. But there are absolutely no flaws with this whatsoever. It's just gorgeous. I love the detailing in here. And I know I keep saying this. I know I'm a broken record, but I do hope that this beautiful embroidery cross stitch need a point um, that that continues like I've said before I don't know anyone that doesn't now so you know it kind of makes me sad I hope it's not a dying art because I think it's really cool I also found another piece of Native American pottery um, this is hand painted it's kind of like a desert scene I think the colors are beautiful and there's a flower here. It kind of looks like a blue bonnet, but I don't know if it's a blue bonnet because this was from Arizona. Um, as you can see, it's New West Pottery. And the artist did sign it here, um, 1972. It's in perfect condition. I see no flaws at all. Um, I think whoever bought this took really good care of it because it looks brand new and it's beautiful. Did I go over everything? I think I did. It's been a long uh, few days, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you the other side of thrifting. Some days are not as exciting as others. Yeah, I, I should feel lucky with the pieces I found today. I just was a, a little disappointed. Monday mornings had been good for me the past few weeks. But again, if you can, please like and subscribe if you aren't already. Leave a comment. Tell your friends. I appreciate all the support everyone has given me so far, and I hope everyone has a really good Monday. And Gina, there's your chicken. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.